Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we're gonna be playing Balloon Miner. This deck never dies, it's pretty much viable in every meta. You can always switch out a couple cards in it and adapt it to pretty much any meta. Okay, I'll Balloon here. Very aggressive Pebble. We'll see if he actually defends, I kind of doubt he will. <laughs> this guy's known for just going for the Pebbles right at the start and then sacking his tower. And looks like that's what he will do here, so we're gonna have to see if we have any way to defend. This deck seems so much stronger now with the new Evo Zap. It's quite a bit better than Snowball, in my opinion. A lot of people are running Skeleton Dragons, and this guy is too, so Evo Zap is super nice whenever you face them. I feel like we're fine here. I don't really know why this man has a Monk in a Golem deck. <laughs> I feel like maybe it would be smarter to go for the Monk in front of the Golem instead of behind it, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> Should be a good game already. I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against a safe, probably containing almost all of my money inside of it. This guy is a goblin drill player, but it could be minor poison. This matchup should be quite nice if he has bomb tower, if he has Tesla. Will be quite bad. I think it is goblin drill. Okay, pretty bad Tesla. We don't have our minor in cycle yet though. But now we do. I don't want to waste the arrows here, just want to try to punish him. Only one wall breaker, so not too bad. Alright, we can go in for the balloon and then going to go for the miner to tank. Maybe catch a mother witch with it? Okay, not quite. He still has to play his mother witch or something. Wait, he's going to take at least one hit. Okay, if that was a princess tower, that would have probably been a lot more damage, but I'll take it. We need all the help we can get in this matchup. It's going to be really hard for us to defend the drills perfect. At least Mother Witch isn't too good for him compared to Little Prince or something. I think he just has it to snipe graveyard decks. Probably makes giant graveyard super easy for him. I'll pop the ability. I don't know if he has anything for it since he wasted the ghost and guards. Okay, he did cycle back pretty quickly. We will have to take some ghost damage. We can zap and should only take one more hit. Not bad. The Evo Knight could be pretty nice here to tank for our balloon, but at the same time I feel like he's going to probably just bridge block it. I'll cycle it in the back and we can try to maybe build up a push here. Gonna bomb tower. Okay, it is on the guards. Pretty interesting drill placement. Oh, the Evo zap though. Oh, we're going to lose most of our tower. We have to go in. But I think he can't defend, he can't stop our Evo Knight, and then also we have our Evo Zap. The Evo Zap is so broken, we can't defend the Wall Breakers though, so I guess this will be a tower trade. You guys can see though how broken Evo Zap can be. With a Snowball you would never be able to do this. We could actually get a lot of damage on his King Tower here, we're gonna see. I mean, not bad. Not as much as I was hoping for. Bit of Little Prince chip damage. I think we should be all good. I don't want to waste our arrows. No! Oh, they both splashed our tower. That was so dumb. I don't know why they did that. They just wanted to destroy our tower for no reason. <laughs> okay, we have to go in here. I know he's going to go for a Tesla in the middle, so we have to try to block it. Okay, we can get our Evo Knight down. And this might actually be somewhat good. I kind of like this. I think he has to take some damage to our balloon. This might even be two hits. Okay, only one hit, I think. We're kind of catching up now. Ooh, really bad guards. We can knight the middle. Perfect. I think we may have got him. Being in a, being in a one to one situation is really helping us out in this matchup compared to him. That should get a hit. Good game. Top 7-7 seven, seven in the world. Let's keep going. We're up against Sask. I take great pride in my perfect pronunciation of people's names. This guy does normally play Giant Graveyard, but it could be maybe Goblin Giant. This guy was playing a lot of Goblin Giant before. Yeah, looks like it. Hopefully our knights kill each other here so his bowler doesn't line up onto our knight and take our little prince out. We should be okay. I'll go in for that aggressive balloon. I kind of just feel like it. <laughs> okay, perfect. 
This should be quite nice. I don't know if he has too much other air defense. Little Prince won't be enough. Wait, guys, I just realized. How do we defend? <laughs> I don't think we can. Maybe a bit of a late observation by us, but... I guess we're chilling. Wait, actually not really. His tower still has quite a bit of HP left. <laughs> okay, I think we're a little bit dead. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say about a 2. Oh wait, no, I mean um, about a 8. Unless our miner takes this tower down with our little prince. Look how Evo Zap here still tried to get a bit of tower damage. The Evo Zap itself is kind of like a fireball. We do have a chance, but I'm not sure if being in a 1 to 1 situation is ideal for us in this matchup. I don't think it is. But this matchup should be very beatable normally. So even in this situation, I don't think it's unbeatable. We just need maybe arrows and zap to take out the tower, I think. I'll go aggressive. I kind of want a balloon, but I feel like he might goblin giant, so I don't want to risk it. We have to bomb tower. <laughs> kind of a weird play, but hopefully it works out. Oh, this will be quite a bit of damage. Okay, this is not working out too well, guys. <laughs> I'll go aggressive here on the right side. I'm not really too worried about taking out the left tower. Oh, perfect timing. He wasted the bowler. We can arrow zap here on the Mother Witch. Oh, great little prince for us taking down the tower. Really good balloon damage. Not quite the final hit on the tower, though. There's the goblin giant. Evo Zap may cause some trouble, but I think we shouldn't die. Okay, I'll have to Miner. I'm going to Evo Zap too. Kind of worth it. Bowler should die. Okay, I want a Balloon, but I know he might spam the Goblin Giant, so I'll just go for a Bomb Tower ahead of time. I knew it. <laughs> if I just went in right now, I feel like we might have lost, but we should be fine. We can still go in even into the Little Prince. Just want to get our Miner onto it and hopefully take it out here with our arrows too. I think we got him. He should have no way to stop that. Yeah. Alright. Nice win. Alright, it's the top one Remiest Eli of all time. Right behind me, of course. I think he will have a pretty big counter to us. He normally plays Minor Wall Breakers Magic Archer. Looks like he does have it now. It's always pretty tough facing a deck that has Tornado and a building when you have Balloon. I think he has no Knight in his deck, so our Little Prince might be pretty useful. And also our Evo Zap does fully kill Magic Archer, so at least we do have something going for us. Might be some damage. Oh, he does have the Knight. Beautiful Bomb Tower. I think we should be all good. Miss Log. We do have to Knight still. I think this matchup will really just depend on how good his magic archers are. If he has bad magic archers, we could actually have a chance. But if not, I don't know if we can do much. Okay, that's a pretty bad bomb tower. I don't think he can stop our balloon. I don't know why he would do that. Quite peculiar. That's the main reason why I'm the top one Remiest Eli of all time. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Kind of worth it to get a thousand damage for the King Tower activation. I think going same lane in this matchup will be quite nice for us as well. We do catch the Miner. Zero damage. Alright, we do have our Evo Knight too, so could make a nice push soon. I'll just cycle the Miner for now. Unfortunately, Magic Archer will kill it. I feel like if he had Princess Tower, this would actually be a solid matchup. Evo Zap will kill this, so I think we're in a good spot. Gonna arrows. Okay, I will Evo Knight onto this. I feel like he might try to Magic Archer. We'll have to see. We can Bomb Tower up high. I don't know, guys. He might Magic Archer. We'll see. Yeah, of course he would. <laughs> okay, that's going to be so much damage. Really good arrows, though. 
I don't know, guys. We, we might have lost because he might just keep spamming the miners, and I feel like we can't outdo his minor chip damage. We're just up in damage because we got the balloon hit, but I don't know if we can get really much more damage. <laughs> okay, what kind of magic archer is that? That was horrible by him. Don't tell me he's going to tornado. Bruh, of course he would. Watch him get away with all of this too. Bro, I feel like he's going to get away with doing all of that. Another magic archer. Bro, this man is getting away with every single play. Every single over-aggressive play. No way, man. <laughs> this is why I don't like facing this guy's deck at all. I think we lost. Wait, unless our Evo Zap can carry, but no, I think the Wall Breakers will take it either way. Good game. We're up against Call Pedro. I don't think I'll call him right now, but maybe later. There actually have been cases of people calling their opponent in the middle of the match to distract them and make them not be able to react for a few seconds. <laughs> that was so funny when I heard about it. Okay, I think we should be fine here. No bomb tower in cycle, but shouldn't be too bad. You know what? I don't know if he can defend. We can balloon here, and I feel like he's a little bit dead. He does have the Skelly Drags variation, which will be a bit better for him, but should still be something. Low Prince will get some damage too. Not bad. Pretty good start. Once we get to our Evo Zap, I feel like it's going to be impossible for him to defend the Balloon. Man, just imagine how broken Balloon would be right now if there weren't such thing as Cannoneer. I think Balloon would be one of the very best decks in the game. Even right now, it's really strong and quite fun, too. Miner will get some nice chip damage. We do have to be careful, though, because in this matchup, the RG player sometimes plays so aggressive and can overwhelm you pretty easily. I don't think he'll go in, though. He might try to RG the back. We'll have to see about that. I'm kind of tempted to Little Prince right into the Fisherman, but I don't want to be that aggressive. We kind of need our Little Prince for defense if he tries to RG soon. He may try to RG the bridge with this stuff, we'll have to see. Hopefully not though. Okay, I don't think he will. He did waste all of his defense. Okay, wait. Wait a minute. Oh no, the ghost. I'll try to push it off our tower a bit. Wait, it's actually not splashing our tower. How is it not splashing our tower? The ghost. <laughs> I feel like whenever I push it off, it always splashes my tower still. Okay, beautiful knight. May have just saved us. May have just saved us. I mean, I feel like he can't defend. We can Evo Zap onto this, and that is pretty good. Taking out the Evo Skellies too. No balloon hit, though. Hopefully our little prince takes out the Evo Skellies here. Alright, I'll balloon. I don't know if we're going to get a hit or not, though. I at least want death damage. At the minimum. Alright, at least death damage. I'll take it. We just have to play good defense and get a few minor hits on the tower. That is on tower. Not much damage, though. I know he's going to RG with this, for sure. There it is. Okay, we have to block the fisherman. And we do also have to pop our ability. Oh, this might be some damage for him. No. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just a bit of minor trip damage, please. I'll go for it like this. Hopefully he doesn't predict it. Alright, that's good game. Thank you guys for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye.